Designing and Preparing to Machine is the second video in a three-part series called Making Foot Orthotics, created by Delcam and Freedom Machine Tool. Let's join Meta Kohler and Tiago Fragianato with Delcam to learn about the foot orthotic design process and how to prepare for machining. So now the next process is that that scan is actually sent to the lab and the lab gets it and wants to begin work on it right away. And they're going to need to bring that into the CAD CAM software where they're going to apply the corrections that the doctor has prescribed and then send it out to the router to machine. So Tiago is now going to come over and he's going to receive the scan and he's going to bring it up in the software. Tiago, can you show the process from this point on? Yes. <laughs> Since we have used a scanner, um, I'm going to design an anatomical orthotic based on the patient's foot shape. So I have the option to open the file that we just digitized, which is my right foot. And I'm going to say open. And Orthomodo is going to load the foot scan that was created in, uh, in the eye cube. And we have the option to analyze the foot and look at the geometry. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to position and align this foot so Orthomodo can design an orthotic based on this foot shape. And to do that, I'm going to place the center of the first metatarsal head, the center of the heel point, and also the center of the fifth metatarsal head. These three points are going to align the foot to the ground and the software is going to start getting the measurements uh, to design the orthotic. Once we get the apex of the arch, all we have to do is press next and the software is going to dissect the hind foot, dissect the mid foot, and also dissect the forefoot, and it's going to design an orthotic based on the foot shape. Once we get to this page, we can apply all the cast dressing operations to modify the foot scan, such as rotating based on the heel and the fifth metatarsal head, or expand the forefoot, add plaster underneath the, low, the lower metatarsal head, and etc. We can also work with the orthotic by modifying every single aspect on the design of the orthotic, such as adjusting the heel width, adjusting the forefoot width, arch position, but also controlling the medial and the lateral sides by adding millimeters increments. Maybe the most important option on this page is the memory foam effect. It's how the orthotic is going to touch the patient's foot. And right now we have few options that we can use. The arch contact, the two-thirds contact, full contact, and the anatomical full contact for EVA orthotics. I'm going to select the full contact where you can see the orthotic has the exact same, same shape of the foot scan, but the software offsets the edge to allow for fat tissue expansion. Once we change all the options in the software, now Orthomod is going to get the shape of the patient's foot, it's going to add into the orthotic design, and it's also going to trim uh, the orthotic shape so we can finish the design. So for this um, process, Tiago, we're building a hard plastic arch support or are we building an EVA arch support? We are building a hard plastic arch support, but we can also create an EVA orthotic based on the shape of the orthotic. We can either create a constant thickness orthotic or we can create a flat bottom orthotic. But before that, I'm going to enter the patient's detail information, such as the name, the ID, and the orthotic that we're going to create. I'm also going to enter the thickness of the orthotic, and as you can see, what the software has done now, the software measured the entire foot, um, so we can design the orthotic based on the foot shape, such as the length, heel width, arch height, and forefoot width. And all these measurements are based on the foot shape. Once we select the next, we have the options to um, modify the orthotic. We can add options such as the heel pitch for high heel shoes, heel lift for leg length compensation, Kirby Skive, and we can also control the rear foot post against the forefoot posting independently. So we can add various valgus independently. Say that again? Uh -huh. We can control the rear foot posting with the forefoot posting independently. So we can add various or valgus independently on the orthotic design. Okay, and we're able to do this all from the scan that we took of your foot just a few minutes ago. Correct. So once the user is happy with the changes, all we have to do is select finish and Orthomodo is going to finish designing the orthotic based on the foot's scan.
One of the most important features once the orthotic is designed is the ability to turn on the foot scan so we can see exactly how OrthoModel has designed the orthotic based on the foot scan. We can also uh, apply a dissection on the orthotic together with the foot scan to see exactly how the foot scan is touching the orthotic design. Once we finish with the orthotic design, we'll be ready to send to the Patriot machine to be machined. The next step is to machine the orthotic. So what we'll have to do is go through the orthomill interface to select the piece of material that we're going to cut, either polypropylene, MDF, cork, and etc. And then we're going to select the orthotics that are going to be machined, and the software is going to calculate the two paths for us. Okay, can we look at that on screen? Yes. So, the first thing I need to do is actually select the block size that I'm going to use. And here we have the FMT 1 inch. As I select OK, we can see a preview of the block on the screen. And the next step is to select the orthotics that we have just designed. The software is intelligent enough to know the orthotics that are higher than 1 inch and the orthotics that can fit in the block by flagging to different colors. We can see that the orthotic uh, from my feet fits on the block because it's under 1 inch. And the software has the ability to nest this orthotic anywhere in the block by just dragging the orthotic and also rotating the orthotic into the right position. So, Tiago, does that rectangle that you're rotating the part in, does that represent the block of material? Yes. Okay. Now, once I'm happy with the position of the orthotic, I can say OK. And the next step is for Orthomil to start calculating the two paths or how the tool is going to cut the block that we're going to place into the FMT machine. In this specific example here, we are using a spiral tool path that follows exactly um, the shape of the orthotic that we're going to use. So if you look at the top tool path here, and I say simulate selected tool path, you can clearly see how the tool is going to cut um, the orthotic. Here we're doing the top tool path, we're going to do the bottom tool path, and also the cutout tool path, to trim the orthotic out of the block uh, for us automatically as well. Or some mother will tell you before you run the tool path on the machine how long this is going to take and how the tool is going to cut the orthotic for us. Once we finish with that, all we have to do is convert all these beautiful things you see on the screen into G code. Now Orthomu is writing the G codes to uh, the FMT machine. One of the important things that we have in Orthomu is the ability to know what we're machining. So Orthomu creates a setup sheet that can be printed for the guys that are running the machine with the job ID, where we saved the file together with the block sizes and the patients that are inside this block. The setup sheet file can be printed so we can track our production when we are machining the orthotics. For more information about designing foot orthotics in Delcam software, please call Meta Kohler at 239-225-2837. Thanks for watching.